for us all to appreciate it. No such problems here, 1,500 kilometers to the southwest of the capital in central China, in the mist-covered mountains of Zhang Zhe. I've come to China's oldest national park, which holds a very new secret. Tucked away on the edge of this World Heritage Site, someone's decided to build a bridge from the middle of nowhere to the middle of nowhere. Unlike me, they hope the thousands of visitors that will come here won't be too scared to look down 300 meters through the world's highest glass walkway. These are the final days of construction for this three-year project. More than 300 engineers have worked through all weather conditions to build what's also the world's longest glass-bottomed bridge, a breathtaking 430 meters, crossing Jean Jarget's Grand Canyon. And the bridge, you can see, it opens up to the sky. Yeah. Usually bridges are parallel, and this one is like that. So you feel the sky is coming into the bridge. The walkway itself is just 60 centimeters thick, so the challenge to keep everything stable has required some fresh thinking. 70 glass balls are to be positioned on springs along the walkway. They've been designed to move to counter any swaying. These curvy railings will persuade up to 800 visitors to keep changing direction, offsetting the resonance caused by hundreds walking at a constant speed. And then there are the water tanks. We are going to put four water tanks in the bridge. When the bridge vibrates, the water inside these tanks will make waves. We've calculated size of the tanks, so the frequency of the water waves and the bridge's vibration are different. So, when the bridge vibrates, the water tanks can help to stop it. They are hoping to sway tourists to stay longer. This amphitheater will host fashion and light shows, and next year you'll be able to throw yourself off the edge and experience the world's highest bungee jump. Pictures showing how a cliff-hugging glass walkway had smashed under the feet of a tourist after he dropped a mug went viral. The walkway was closed. Our hosts were keen to show me just how safe I was. Each panel of the walkway has three layers of toughened glass held together by glue. <laughs> well, the president has given me a hammer and said that even if I can get through all three layers of glass, I won't fall through. He's also said that I will be the toughest man in the world if I can get through this lot. So this is how they're going to assuage people's fears of glass bridges. Here goes. And it looks like you can see the top glass has shattered here. Seven, three, oh. Oh. We're okay. That's it. Do you know what? I think this might be safe. <laughs> okay, guys, we get the point. And so at last, it was time to welcome the very first specially invited tourists onto the glass. It is an unnerving experience and uh, it takes a little while to get used to. Um, <laughs> I've only just begun to be able to do that. It's a remarkable feat and it's really something for the eyes. This entire structure is incredibly impressive and I'm sure we'll get very, very similar reactions when it's open to the public next month.
Dan Simmons in Zhang Jiajie. And our China adventure continues later this month with two more shows from this amazing country. Next week, though, we're in Los Angeles for the world's biggest video games expo, E3. But for now, enjoy the view. Thank you.